Man, this is scary. Oh, oh, this is intense. Oh, watch out. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to this brand new and awesome video on the channel in VR. That's right, today we are going to dive into a earthquake VR simulator and where you can experience a shard earthquake of course, but also a fire simulation while learning functional survival techniques. It's a great educational experience for schools, families and organizations. So if you want to give this one a try yourself as well, you can. I will put a link in the description below. And now it's time to check it out and jump right into the metaphors. Let's -a go! Okay, so here we are guys in the menu of the one and only Earthquake Simulator. So let's get started, shall we? First of all, I'm going to explore this uh, beautiful house. Yes, it's really big actually. I'm surprised. Impressive. It's really nice. We got a cozy uh, chill spot over here with a fireplace. Pretty, pretty neat indeed. A huge painting that reminds me of Where is Wally? <laughs> and I see photos everywhere of the developers, I guess. Nice Easter egg. Here's another one you see. Try to catch them all if you can. And apparently we got a dog too. Hey there, buddy. What's up? Nice to meet you. My name is Nathy. What is yours? Hello? He seems to be terrified. It's like he knows what's going to happen, right? <laughs> yeah. Is this all the stuff we need before we... Ah, yes. Emergency kit checklist. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. We are soon going to collect it all when we start the simulator. Oh wait, here's a photo of the dog. What is your name? Milo. Oh, well, nice to meet you, Milo. It's all going to be fine, okay? I know what I'm doing. I have never survived an earthquake before because I'm living in the Netherlands, but I'm going to try, okay? Trust me, it's going to be all okay. This is the dining area, and this is the actual living room. Can we go upstairs? No, it doesn't work. There's like a little fence for the dog. Okay. Well, Milo, you know where you shouldn't go. Upstairs is the forbidden area. This is the bathroom. Really, really small. I think I've seen it all, guys. Let's go uh, back to the uh, main room. Is it this way? Oh, no, wait, it's the other way. Got it. I wanted to check out the house so I know where I am when the earthquake happens. Sounds like a plan to me. Okay, and this is the bathroom. The bad room, I mean. My funny accent is kicking in, I'm sorry. <laughs> we got more photos here too. It's crazy. I'm surrounded by the developers, they are watching me. It's kinda creepy, I know. So, let's uh, skip the instructions and uh, go and play it. The instructions are basically you learning more about the controls, so don't worry, I'm not skipping anything important here. Okay, this is my moment. Yes, teach me. Oh. Breaking news. Uh -huh. Aha. Increase in seismic activity has been observed in the city and in surrounding areas. Uh oh. Reminder when earthquakes happen, stay indoors until the earthquake ends. 
Most casualties result from partial building collapse and falling objects, broken glass and debris, such as toppling chimneys, falling bricks, ceiling plaster, and light fixtures. Movement of the ground is seldom the actual cause of death or injury. Many of these conditions are preventable. Did you know that animals act strangely before the ground shakes? Barking or whining for no apparent reason? Or showing signs of anxiety and restlessness? For example, erratic behavior oh. in dogs, such as excessive barking or biting, could be used to forecast earthquakes. Interesting. Well, it seems like it's uh, going to start soon then. Hey, take it easy. Calm down. Oh no. Earthquakes usually occur without warning. Let's quickly move to the kitchen to create your emergency preparedness kit. Roger your dad. Lead the way, Milo. Your mission ah. is to build an emergency preparedness kit. Please review the list of items on the whiteboard that you will need to build your kit. Your mission starts now. Yes, okay, bottled water. Check. First aid kit. There it is. Oh, I need to teleport a little closer. Meals ready to eat. Meatballs, my favorite. Can spam. That's the one I was looking for. Medication. Duct tape. Always nice to have. Canned noodles. Are these noodles? Yes. Flashlight. Batteries. This is a really useful uh, experience, I can tell you that. I mean, this is something everyone should uh, play. Radio. Compass. And last but not least, an axe. Ooh, careful there. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, we need to go to the next uh, room. To the dining area. Yes, I'm coming. Oh, we need to uh, go and... Uh... Stay indoors. Oh. Limit your movement. Protect your head and torso. If you are close to a desk or table, get under it. Otherwise, drop wherever you are. Oh, it's going nuts over here. Oh, 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 this is intense. Oh, watch out. Ah. Oh. If possible, put up small fires. If it is not possible, leave your home immediately. Notify the fire department and alert your neighbors. Crawl low under smoke if necessary. Oh, we are in trouble. It's time to get out of here. Or should I try to save my home? Oh no, the fire is spreading fast. Run, Natey. Whew, man. No, not the television. Okay. Let's go. Oh, we did it. Yes. Great job. Thank you for participating in Lindero Edutainment's Earthquake Preparedness Experience. Whew. Of course, this was a uh, light version of what can actually happen in real life, but playing this really gives you a feeling of how it must be to live in a country where they actually got earthquakes. It's really scary, guys. This was not cool. I mean, you have no clue what's going on around you. It's shaking like crazy. Boy, oh boy. Anyway, if you are living in a country where they have earthquakes, then uh, email them. You can get a free copy of the Earthquake Safety Notebook. I would totally recommend you doing that. So yeah, now it's time to uh, jump to the outro and uh, end this video. Let's uh, go. Okay, so that was uh, the Earthquake Simulator on the channel in VR. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, then slap that like button as always. And let me know in the comments below 
what I should play next. That would be nice. So this earthquake simulator is really useful. It's sharp but straight to the point and that's exactly what they were aiming for here. Different scenarios would have been welcome here to be honest. A fire can start at a random place so what if there is no exit? I have no clue. I understand that this is a experience that goes point to point and learns people the basics but still, what if you create a little bit more chaos? What if there is no arrow on the floor telling you where to go? That's what you want to uh, experience, right? I mean, if you are a visitor of a museum or you are still going to school, then there is a chance that you have never tried VR. So having easy peasy controls is going to help so much more than having a complicated experience with lots and lots going on. I do understand that. It's like 50-50 here. It's just that the scenario we played here is never going to happen like that. Of course, a lot of scenarios are still not going to get close to what is really going to happen in real life. But still, learning different situations here can help a lot especially when there is for example furniture blocking your door and you can't get out what do you need to do i know maybe i shouldn't actually judge here because i have never experienced a earthquake but this game has a lot of potential if it has more content it's going to be amazing and it's going to help a lot of people out also a thing that the developers should really change is the part where you need to get out of the house well, it kind of looks like they give you two decisions. Grab the fire extinguisher and try to save your house or just get out of there as soon as possible. But in the end, it's always you running out of the house. But it doesn't feel like that. It's like you go to the kitchen, you want to grab it, but it's not there anymore. So that was a part that really confused me. They could have explained more about why you need to use certain items, especially if children are playing this. You need to explain them why they need it, because then they will understand how important it is to grab it when something bad happens. Maybe this could have been done by a voice that is telling more about these tools, or by building in more interaction. Last but not least, you do need to pay for this uh, experience. And I'm not sure if that's right, because in my opinion, everyone should be able to try this for free. But I also understand that the developers do need to get paid too. So if schools or organizations could buy a educational package of the earthquake simulator, then that would be amazing. It's kind of odd that they put this uh, earthquake simulator on Steam because museums, schools and other companies don't go to Steam to check out if there's something to learn. Just saying. So maybe they should try to advertise it through different uh, ways because right now I don't think anyone really knows this exists in the first place. Anyway, I will put a link in the description below if you want to check it out. And yes, if you are living in an area where you do have earthquakes, then this is definitely a must play. And that's it for now. Nati signing off. And as I always say, and I see you guys next time. See you in the metaverse.